By now, you can recognize the works of two famous painters of the American scene. And it's time for you to meet a third artist who painted similar subjects, but used a different style and an unusual technique, Grant Wood. This is his self-portrait. He was born on a farm in Iowa in 1891 and started drawing at a very young age. He, like Benton and Hopper, went to France to study art. He came back to the USA with the belief that there should be a kind of art for America that showed the real appearance of the land and people he knew best. His special love was the local scene and people of Iowa. But he also painted pictures about events in American history and legend. His paintings began to win prizes at the Iowa State Fair in 1929, but by 1933, he had painted most of the portraits, landscapes, and murals that made him famous. This portrait of his mother called Woman with Plant shows that Wood had learned a lot from studying portraits by Renaissance artists in European museums. He asked his mother to pose in country clothing, an apron over a simple black dress with a family heirloom at her neck and with the familiar countryside behind her. Notice how Wood overemphasizes the puffiness of the leafy trees, rendering them somewhat abstractly. His highly detailed portrayal of his mother shows her quiet, firm strength of character in a very realistic manner. This picture is the first of the style that made Grant Wood famous as an American painter. Stone City is a tiny village in eastern Iowa near where Grant Wood was born. He painted this scene with a bird's eye perspective, looking down. Although it is a real place, Wood has made the surfaces of the buildings, the hills and trees look smooth and orderly, like doll houses in a storybook landscape. You can see that the artist painted his images of Iowa with clarity and in a delineated, somewhat abstract, but realistic style, overemphasizing the fullness of the hills, the even furrows of the plowed fields, the puffiness of the leafy trees, and the curve of the country roads. Very apparent, too, are the rhythm and the movement in his work. This combination quickly became a major clue to Wood's personal painting style. You've probably seen this painting before, and possibly also many cartoons or other satires using the two figures and their wooden carpenter gothic house behind them. It is called American Gothic. Grant Wood painted a double portrait that was intended to show an elderly father and his unmarried daughter in front of their farmhouse. But the models he actually used were his sister and his dentist. His portrayal of them was very detailed, as were the house and barn. But notice the puffiness of the leafy trees behind them. He was interested, too, in repeating the vertical lines and the curves of the architecture and the people's clothes, the pitchfork, and the house. Nobody was more surprised than the artist when his painting won a bronze medal in the annual exhibition and was purchased for $300 by the Art Institute of Chicago. Within a few years, it became one of the very best known of American paintings. Now that you've learned something about the styles of Thomas Hart Benton and Grant Wood, here's a chance to identify two paintings by one of the artists and one painting by the other. Are you ready to look carefully and think before you answer? The title, Young Corn, is one clue that should help you figure out who painted this landscape, but you should recognize others. Everything looks well cared for and neat. Notice the smooth flowing curves of the green hills and fields creating a rhythm in the painting, the abstract puffy looking trees, and the simple lines of the tidy house of the farmers who are cultivating the orderly rows of young corn. The very precise foreground, midground, and background perspective is another clue to the artist who is celebrating the everyday appearance of the fertile farmland that he has known since childhood. You are right if you decided the artist is Grant Wood. The title of this painting is Romance. It shows two young people moving across a farmyard by the light of the moon. Perhaps they are going off to a dance, as the man, probably more comfortable barefooted, is carrying his shoes. 
They are simple country folk enjoying everyday pleasures. This artist was more interested in people than in the landscape. The abstracted figures, the rhythm of the clouds and sky, and the light to dark values should give you clues as to the artist who made this painting. Who was it? Thomas Hart Benton. <clears throat> Parson Weems' fable illustrates the folk tale that young George Washington had cut down a cherry tree and could not lie about it to his father. The clergyman who made up the story is shown pulling back a curtain so we may see Washington's father confronting his honest young son with evidence of the mischief. With this picture, the artist made fun of a popular legend. This is a very structured, asymmetrical composition with stylized figures and forms. Can you use this artist's particular style to identify him? You are correct if you answered Grant Wood. Are you ready now to identify the paintings of Thomas Hart Benton, Edward Hopper, and Grant Wood? If you can tell which picture is by which artist, you will probably be able to recognize their work anywhere. Remember, think before you answer. Here is a little corner store in a small town, early in the morning at 7 a.m., the title of this painting. It could be anywhere in America, but the artist has left us with many questions. He did not give us enough information to tell if the business is closed or open. Looking through the window, we see that the objects don't identify the kind of store it is. And looking into the interior, we can see a clock with the hands at 7 a.m., perhaps too early for the store to be open. We also see a cash register, but the shelves look empty as though the place might be vacant. Because the specific information is lacking, we can see this store as typical of small stores anywhere, and so it becomes more important than a picture of just one particular place. Did you decide that this painting was made by Edward Hopper? As you must know by now, Edward Hopper was famous for his paintings of light and shadow, architectural forms, and a mood of quiet loneliness, often behind glass windows. Can you guess what scene from American history this painting illustrates? It is called The Midnight Ride of Paul Revere, and it shows the rider on horseback dashing through the town of Boston past Old North Church to alert the citizens that the British soldiers were about to attack. The artist has shown the hero of the story, Paul Revere, as only a tiny figure seen from high above. This was a new interpretation of a national legend, neat, orderly arrangements of uncluttered buildings, a landscape seen from a bird's eye view, the rhythm of the winding road, the clusters of rounded trees. What other clues did you notice? By now, you must have recognized the artist, Grant Wood. Cradling wheat is a study of the appearance of the Missouri landscape. We see its softly rolling hills and the hay fields typical of that part of the country. It is a portrait of the artist's homeland, an appreciation of the local scene. The sturdy, slightly abstracted figures gathering the sheaves of grain, the magnification of detail in the foreground, and the movement and rhythm in the figures, tree, hills, and clouds are also clues that should help you decide that the artist is Thomas Hart Benton. After you have learned about a work of art from a book or a video, it is always a pleasant surprise to see the original painting on exhibit in a museum. When you go to a museum to look at art, perhaps you will see and recognize some of these paintings and maybe some others by these famous American artists.